Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how you can use Adobe Stock Video to actually enhance your photos. So I have a photo of Travis Scott here that I took and it's one of my favorite from the tour and the concert. And so I'm actually gonna just find some sort of stars video to enhance this photo because I feel like it kind of fits the atmosphere, the sort of vibe. So I can either do this in Photoshop or Premiere Pro. I think it would be easier in Premiere Pro because it has a video component. So I'm gonna go to Adobe Stock right here. You can also just find it in your Windows library right here and then click on here and go to Adobe Stock and then now you can search up the videos from inside the program instead of going on the website. So I can search up like stars and you wanna actually sort it by videos. So if you go in here, you can see you can sort it by videos right here. I think I'm gonna just search it up on the web because it's a bigger screen and I can look at it and there's more options. So I'm gonna search up stars right here and there's a bunch of videos as you can see. I just wanna find one that um, looks similar to the photo in terms of color because I don't wanna have to color grade. I just wanna just slap on the, uh, the video right away. It's like purplish, bluish right here. So we wanna find something that's similar. So this one's kind of similar, I would say. This is not really, is it? Yeah, actually this is kind of more similar than this. So let's say we want this. We can open the preview in um, Premiere Pro or After Effects if you use After Effects. Um, so I'm gonna open up in Premiere Pro and it should save um, to the Adobe stock and it should go under downloads as it says right here. Um, we're gonna go to Premiere Pro. We're gonna go to downloads. And then you can see right here, it's there. So in order to license, you just wanna click on the file right here. I just license it so it doesn't show the watermark anymore. So you can see right here. I also wanna change the sequence settings because the photo isn't the same size as the video, obviously. So um, whatever the frame size is, you wanna change that. If you wanna post this on Instagram, for example, it might be like 1080 by 1080 for a square. It might be 1080 by 1350 if you want like the portrait. I'm gonna do that because I want the photo to appear as like a portrait. So you just wanna go to effects, click on this and scale in a bit now. I'm also gonna just drag the photo into Premiere Pro right here. And it looks like it's a little bit zoomed in, so we're gonna zoom it out. And so it's really as simple as putting the video layer on top of the photo layer and messing with the blend modes a little bit. So you can see right away, I made it screen, usually screen works the best. Um, and if it's too strong, you can obviously lower the opacity. It just enhances it and it kind of works, especially with this photo, like, and especially because of this video, because the particles are moving upwards and his hands are pointing upwards. So it's as if like he's looking up to something. So you want to, you know, look at that when you're deciding what video and photos to use. The only problem I see now is that it is kind of faded because of the overlay. So what you can do is actually make an adjustment layer and color grade this. So we're gonna make an adjustment layer right here, put on top, and we're gonna like increase the contrast because it's a little bit flat, right? We're gonna lower the shadows. And then there you go. So something as simple as that can work. You can even, to make it a little bit more interesting, you can scale in and out. So we can go on the scale right here, set it as 33 um, at the end, and maybe make it a little bit bigger at the start. So like 36. So if you press play right here, it's, it's moving a little bit. And yeah, that's about it. Usually it works well if the colors are the same, if the video matches the photo's environment. In this case, it does a lot. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Tune in tomorrow for another video.